coffee subsector has had perennial problems for almost the last two decades, arising of two factors. One, after the subsector was privatized, the private sector moved in <coughs> and took over the sector to the disadvantage of the farmers. We had very strong institutions that were managed by farmers, the Coffee Board of Kenya, KPCU, the Coffee Research Foundation, and all those who were replaced by profiteers. And as a result, uh, a systematic program of exploitation of coffee farmers went underway. As a result, once the farmers did not get commensurate compensation for their sweat and effort, they started neglecting the crop. We used to sell, we used to produce 251,000 metric tons of coffee. But because of poor prices, there was a lot of uprooting of coffee and neglect of the coffee bushes bringing us to an all-time low of 50,000 metric tons. So we have been working with the two ministries, Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock Development, and the cooperatives to try to deal with the cartels in the sector, look for new markets for the farmers, improve the pricing, and motivate the farmers to agree to look after the coffee bushes. And that has been going on. I bet a lot of um, assistance from the players in the industry, but we have worked very hard and we have been making good progress.